It's 6.38 p.m. Before I leave the office, I wanna to talk to you about how to deal with and overcome dry spells in sales. I was just making my rounds around the office and I saw an SDR and I said, hey, what's up, how are you doing? He said, you know what, I'm a little down. And I said, why, what's up? He said, it's been about two days, my volume has been steady and consistent, but I haven't really set any meetings. I feel like I'm in a dry spell. And I said, look, it's gonna be okay. And based on his feedback of what he's actually experiencing on the front lines and my experience dealing with setbacks for the last three and a half years of my software sales career, I'm gonna to talk to you today about how to overcome it, keep perspective and really carry forward because you're not alone. And it's not fun to go through setbacks. So I wanna show you something that is fun. We had an office Olympics this afternoon and I won the award for the biggest fail. Roll the clip. Fortunately, I am okay and still here to ask you to smash the like button on this video now if you'd like to support the channel. Okay, look, dealing with dry spells. Point number one is the law of averages. And this is the feedback I told the SDR. I said, look, when you think about your money ball metrics, when you think about the volume you're putting in over a day to day, week to week, month to month basis, if you're looking at your answer rate, your set rate, your show rate and your conversion rate, um, you have to put in a big number. So if you insert 100 calls throughout the metric, you can deal with outliers, you can deal with anomalies. But if you look at a law of 1,000 calls, then one bad day, two bad days, is going to look normal in contrast to the course of two, three weeks. So if you're dealing with short-term setbacks, especially from an outbound prospecting standpoint, look at it in the context of 1,000 or 2,000 calls. Don't just look at it in the context of, oh, over the course of 200 calls, I haven't found any success. And I think keeping that perspective of over time, it's always gonna work itself out, helps you recognize, look, this is all mental, and I need to get over the way I'm thinking right now. And that carries us into point number two, which is you can't get too high or you can't get too low. This is a lesson I learned from one of the top enterprise sales leaders in my company. This guy works for some of the biggest accounts in the world and um, sells some of the biggest deals, multi-million dollars. And he said, the advice he told me, one of my biggest takeaways, he was my mentor, he said, you can't get too high, meaning when you close that multi-million dollar deal, gotta be happy, you gotta celebrate, you gotta be grateful, but you gotta be like, okay, I did it, let's keep moving forward. And then you can't get too low, meaning you lose that big deal, you get broken up with, you get fired, you lose your job. It sucks when bad things happen, like we discussed, but you can't get too low. You gotta get back up, you gotta dust off a little bit, just like I did when I fell out of the chair. I was embarrassed, my knees hurt a little bit, but I said, you know what, it's okay. I'll continue forward from this, it's not that big of a deal. A quote I'd like to share to keep the confidence up, and if you can guess who said this in the comments, I will be blown away. Um, but it, it says, I'd rather go zero for 30 than zero for nine, because you go zero for nine, that means you stop shooting. That means you lost confidence. In sales, it's a confidence game. So whether you're getting too high or too low, stay even keeled, but stay even keeled in a position of confidence, knowing that you have the skill set, you have the ability, you have the work ethic, you have the talent to make it happen, so keep going. That carries us into point number three, and this is a contrast to point number two, is when you get too high, it's easy to get too comfortable. And by too high, I mean finding success. You just hit your monthly number, you're in the accelerators, and you say, I deserve a vacation. Or you have all this deal flow as an account executive, and you say, I don't need to do my prospecting today. Whenever a business or an enterprise stops growing, progress stops, and that's how you lose. That's how you go from high to immediate low. And what you wanna do is be that steady, steady, steady increase up, and you gotta keep confidence, you gotta keep perspective, and you gotta keep going at all costs. A supplementary point to add is ride the wave as well. Um, a thing about sales is when you feel like you're in a, a, a down cycle, meaning you things just aren't going well, um, it, it's easy to get too caught up in your head and think, ah, oh, nothing's gonna happen my way. When is a good day gonna happen? And you can go into the afternoons, you can go into the evenings and you can overthink it. You can be sitting at home, you can be watching YouTube videos, you can be doing Netflix, making dinner, and you can be thinking about it. And that's something I especially deal with in sales. When I'm not at my number or my quota, I feel like 
it's a race to zero. I'm in the red. I feel like I'm allergic to that gap between where I'm at today and my quota. So I'm thinking about this in my free time and it can be really easy to overthink it and get down on yourself. And when you're supposed to have fun, when you're doing things, when you're going on trips, you have that thing in the back of your head and says, hey, I'm not quite at quota. Um, that sucks. And, and, and I think that plays in that whole overthinking piece. So when you have the opportunity to disconnect, you should disconnect and, and stop worrying about it. And then that should be even more of a driver to say, hey, when I am in the office, when I am absolutely dialed in working, I should be fully focused on that so that I can put myself in the best position to succeed. And the final point here is ride the wave. In sales, you're gonna experience the highest highs, you're gonna experience the lowest lows. And when you're experiencing lows, recognize that this too shall pass and it's a part of the experience. You're gonna have highs, you're gonna have lows and that's just the cyclical nature and that's the volatility you will experience working in sales because it's high risk, high reward and you can't always win. You are paid to told no, you expect rejection. You expect going through dry periods of a day, two days, but you can't let a bad day turn into another bad day, into a bad week. You have to recognize that I'm gonna keep my activity up, I'm gonna keep my head up, I'm gonna keep my confidence up so that you can turn that next day into a good day. And next thing you know, you have a good day, and now you're riding the wave. Now you have that confidence, that aura about you, that swagger, you go into meetings, you say, I'm gonna make this happen, I know I am. It doesn't matter what the competition is because I'm riding the wave. And that's the way I think about it. I'd like to hear your thoughts on it as well. Um, if you're going through a dry spell right now, you will get through it. I've been through many uh, in my career as well. And hopefully the SDR who had the talk with me is now watching this video because this was made directly for you and all of you. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate the recent support. I am traveling to Austin this weekend to do the half marathon. So if any of you live in Austin and you happen to be running in the marathon, half marathon, or just live in the city, let me know. I'd love to say what's up to you if, you, if you're in the area. Um, I don't quite know where it's at, but it's Sunday in Austin downtown. So if you're around, hit me up and um, would love to say what's up. Thank you so much for the consistent support. If you haven't already hit the like button, hit it now for the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel for more sales videos. Connect with me on LinkedIn. If you'd like to join networks, follow me on TikTok. <laughs>